All right, so we're back with another video for you guys, another reaction video. And this is part three of Organic's uh, interview with Tacos and Shawarma. That's the name of the channel. If you guys haven't uh, checked out the first uh, part one and part two, my reactions to that interview, make sure you guys go check them out afterwards. But this is part three. So we're just going to get right into it, folks. I got to keep growing. So I took a trip to Switzerland. I was out there for three months. And what did you do there? I was out there for business initially and also just seeing something different. I did everything in my bucket list besides travel to different countries that you don't see niggas like me at. And I, and I was like, what's the first one I thought about was Switzerland? You mm -hmm. don't see no niggas out there like this. I'm, I'm going to Switzerland. You so liked it? Yeah, I loved it. I had a great time. It was did, very did you go in the middle of the snow season? No, no. I was, it was like May. I was out there. Um, And I just got back. And uh, so I was going, I was going to stay out there, get my visa and all that, but it didn't work out that way. It's hard to get your fucking visa. And they was tripping. They was tripping. You can only stay for three months. <laughs> and they, they basically I got my ass about it, really. Yeah, three really? months, yeah, 90 days. Yeah, I don't want to stay in America. Yeah, yeah, I was, I I was chilling. I want to go was, to like Thailand or some shit and just... Oh, just feast on, just have all the bread. Cause... So they kicked them out after what, like three months? Hold on, man. Hold on, hold on. Time out, man. Hold on. So you're one of them ones... You're one of the elites, but somehow they kicked you out. They didn't want to give you the citizenship over there. How come? I thought you were one of them ones. Like, I don't get it. Isn't that what he says? He's one of them ones. He's one of the elites or whatever. So if you're one of the elites, one of the multi-millionaires, so popular, so influential, how come you didn't get the citizenship? How, do, how come they didn't let you stay there a little bit longer? Why did they kick you out like that? I told you guys this, man, it's all cap and all these businesses. Like, it didn't make sense to me. Like, how are you on v with a visa there? But you claim you got all these business meetings. You got all these business startups there, all these partnerships. Like, how are they? How can you have partnerships when you have no identity there? Like, I don't know. A lot of it didn't make a whole lot of sense to me. But now he's saying he's finally admitted then that they kicked them out after 90 days. But I thought you were one of them ones. Isn't that his brand? One of them ones. He's one of the super rarest, like elites, richest, whatever bullshit he keeps saying. So we got their TV. I don't know move. But yeah, Switzerland was dope because I love watches. You know what I'm saying? So I had it and I sit and I collect them and I just put them on a boat to, you know, freeze the money. Mm -hmm. And um, so I was out there, had great relationships out there. Also was working with a jewelry company, um, Gubelin. That's what this. What watches? I thought you got rid of all your jewelry. You, didn't you just say, I don't know if he said it earlier or he's going to say it in the next uh, few minutes. But I thought this man got rid of his jewelry. Um, no, it was a video that he dropped before he actually went there and he said he got rid of the jewelry he got rid of the uh, cars and that's where the whole discrepancy is with the cars because you'll see here uh today we'll talk about it oh you'll see all the proof you'll see all the receipts the car wasn't his it was all leased this man is all cap is it's um and I was trying to build my own things out there, but at the time of my visa was running out so to my work visa, I had a lawyer working on it. So I, I really understand I gave up everything to go out there. Sold my, um, all my cars. You sold um, all your cars? Yeah, besides I still had like um, a Hellcat my brother had of mine that um, I have back currently because I'm doing things with it, but in my slingshot, but I, I vacated everything. What, what does he mean by he sold his cars, man? Like, what do you mean sold it? You mean you returned the cars back to the dealer? Because the lease, you couldn't afford to continue the lease? Like, what do you mean by sold exactly? I was all, cause I'm all in. Mm -hmm. One of my nicknames from, from like a kid was ball or nothing else. That, that's my nickname for bonus, acronym for bonus right there on my arm. It's ball or nothing else. If I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna go all the way in. So I, I, I took the risk, I sold my jury and um, liquidated everything and I went, came there with a nice lump. He just said like, this is where the whole contradiction happened. He literally just said, I sold all my jewelry. But then just a minute ago, you said that you're a watch collector, so. I don't know, man. This dude is like, you, like this is what I mean. You got to listen carefully. On the money and was going to work that and grow that, but it didn't work out. You know what I'm saying? So it like threw me for a loop, but it is what it is. But I'm going to take my risk I'm gonna, and um, I'm going to take my leaps of faith. But now I'm it back. It threw you for a loop because most of your gambles pan out? Or? Always, bro. You know what I'm saying? Really? I'm glad you said that. Yeah, because every leap of faith I took, it worked up to this point. You know what I'm saying? It, and it fucked me up, but it was like I had to be prepared for the wins and the losses. Just like if you talk to somebody, you ask them a question or ask them or something, you gotta be prepared for that yes or that no. Motherfucker get mad and no. Bitch, I got options. Bitch, no. Okay, damn, you can't be like, God damn, you can't. Motherfucker, I don't gotta say yes to everything. So like, That's true. I was prepared for it, but I wasn't because it hit me like, oh damn, this is the first one that ain't work. So now we're in a recession, or most of the things I was doing ain't working the same. 
know what I'm saying? The partnerships ain't the same. The, the YouTube views ain't the same. The, the merch ain't selling the same. My crypto is down 60%. Motherfucker, this shit different. It's not different. The merch is not selling because it's so overpriced and it's not even all that. All you're doing is just basically taking other people's works, other people's brands and trying to like spin it off as yours. Like, why would I go spend... I don't understand all these idiots. Like, his his, his supporters are straight-up idiots. Uh, I don't understand why am I going to go buy a $200 shirt from him that says Hellcat Hooligan or whatever the crap it says when I just can go to Dodge directly and buy it for, like, 20 30 bucks. Like, it don't make no damn sense, man. It doesn't make any sense. And then all his merch... All he does is that he just buys the merch from these, like, other brands like Victorious USA. Um, he even just gets blanks. Uh, most of his clothes now just looks like a bunch of blanks with a print on. It's not even, like, nothing all that special, all that unique. Um, so it, he just admitted, oh, the merch ain't selling the same. It's because you're not really putting a whole lot of damn effort in it. You're just basically taking other people's shit. All his brands, SRTF, like, what is SRTF? That's literally Dodge's brand or Mopar's brand. And then you just took it and added an F to it. Like, ram. And then he just comes up with his own meaning to it. It's like, dude, you're all cap. It's all bullshit. I took all this money, went there, ain't work. Oh, shit. Oh, goddamn. I scratched the neck. You know what I'm saying? The bill's still coming. Still coming. Ooh, what we gonna do? Saddle up. You, you asked for this greatness. Are you great? All the greats go through It's a real test, right? Let's go. Hold on, man. See, this is what I mean. I'm going to, like like I told you guys, I'm going to pull all the discrepancies out, all the red flags. Now he's saying it ain't working. But isn't this the same clown that has a song called Smartest in the Room? Smartest in the Room? Smartest in the Room? How come? What happened? Smartest in the Room? Smartest in the Room? All the power that I consume? Like, what happened, my man? Everything ain't working? Are you really that smart? Because it's not looking like you're all that smart, man. It's looking like you're a straight-up goofy. The only reason you made it on YouTube is because of Tall Guy. Because Tall Guy was shouting you out. You had Tall Guy in the titles and practically, like, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of videos. So I don't even get it when people are like, well, you put organic in the title. Well, organic puts other people in his title. So if he makes money out of it, I can make money out of it, too. If he does it, I can do it, too. And I'm reacting to his videos, so it's not like I'm hiding from it. It's not like I got a title that's, like, uh, ambiguous, and then I'm talking about him. And even if I did that, people would be like, oh, what? oh, you're scared to put organic, you're scared to let him know that you're talking. Well, now I'm not scared. I put him in the title, I put him in the thumbnail. So clearly I'm talking about him, so there's nothing, like, misleading in the video. I don't get it. Like, these stupid, slow brain idiots... A lot of these people are stupid and slow-brained. It's just, you go one direction, they're like, oh, well, you're, why are you hiding? How am I hiding? I put him in a damn title, I put him in the thumbnail, I'm talking about his ass. It's not like he's going to do anything about it anyway. I'm going to die or I'm going to win. I'm going to sink or swim. It's tatted on my back with a big-ass shark and a woman floating on that top. I'm going to sink or swim. We're all going to die. That's We're going to die anyway. So you might as well try. And thank God he gave me everything I wanted before I go. Took care of my mom. That was my biggest thing. That's all I wanted to do. I promised her that since seventh grade, mom. I said, write it on notes. You know, I'm gonna be a millionaire. You never have to work for nothing. Be close with your mom. Most definitely. It's like my sister. We talk all the time. That's you know what I'm saying? And I made her dreams come true. I made all. My man, stop it with all these dreams come true bullshit stories, man. He thinks like we don't know where his mom is at, but your mom doesn't live where you claim she lives, man. Stop putting on this false propaganda. All these fake ass stories. You didn't even get her, like, when he got her that white Mercedes, that SUV, which I'm not even going to put all the details of it, but it's not even all that, man. It's just like a used, it was used with high mileage. It's not like the cars that he'd be getting. So stop with all this cap, man. If anything, I think his brothers are probably more legit than him. I think he's a straight up goofy clown. He was a goofy clown back then. He's a goofy clown now. And the fact is, if you guys didn't watch the video we did about his high school friend, make sure you guys go check it out. And there's even more people. Like, man, let me tell you, man, if I really wanted to uncover everything on organic, I'd make organic shit his pants. That's come true. Everything else, I'm in overtime. You know what I'm saying? I controlled this world. I did mine. You know I mean? I'm going on side missions now. And I'm going to enjoy it. 
And if it goes down, then motherfucker, so be it. I was good down there anyway. Right. I was in the basement, fucking bad bitch, eating pussy, doing all type of threes and shit in the basement. You know what I'm saying? So what so the fuck? That's the worst it can get, right? right. That's not even that bad. And my, my bottom, I still. This dude is all cap. He just said, oh, when I was at the bottom, I was eating pussy. And then when he was on the Top of the Moot podcast with Tall Guy, he said that he rarely eats pussy. It's like this dude is, all, he lies about everything. Just remember this. Those of you guys that are watching up until this this moment right here, just remember this. This man just said when he was at the bottom, he was eating pussy. That's what he said. I mean, this guy talks about his dick all the time. Like, that's the only thing he he can brag about is his dick size and how tall he is. Because he thinks he's the only one in the whole world with a big dick and a, he's the tallest guy in the whole world. Like, that's that's organic. All right, I'm just going to I'm just gonna put it right there in your face. That's organic. But he just said, remember that. He said when he was at the bottom, he was eating pussy. Because when we when we react to the video that he did, the Top of the Moon podcast, that like shitty ass podcast that he claimed was going to hit the moon or whatever, and it basically fell apart. Tall guy left them. Um, he said in one of the the podcast vlogs they did or whatever, um, he said that he's not a he's not a huge pussy eater. So it's like, man, which one is it, man? Stop with all these bullshit ass stories. The most glorious motherfuckers ever. People and know you don't me. even have kids. None. People know me 15 years ago. I'm sleeping in the basement. Still the coolest motherfucker walking the street. My brothers have come to town out in Minnesota and we go to the clubs. I'm walking there. It's like red carpet walking for me. I didn't have shit but me. I always was treated this way. Money or money ain't fucking make me. God made me. He gave me this mind. He gave me this fire. He gave me this charisma. It don't fucking. I'll be in a white tee and some motherfucking, motherfucking cargo shorts. That's all you need. I'm going to win. I'm going to hit that motherfucking gym. I'm going to drink me some water. I'm going to keep my mind clear. You need a sidewalk. Come on. I'm good. I do 500. Organic was never a street dude. Even if you pull up, let me tell you, I can pull up all his records, police interactions, every single thing has been documented. This dude is not who he says he is, all right? Even when he was, you know, doing street activity shit, this dude was like basically a student in a classroom. He just puts on this profile. He looks a certain way to fit a certain profile, but he's not really that profile that's who he is all right he's not he's not what you guys think he is all right he just puts on he's really a good actor that's really the best way to describe it he's a very very good actor and he does it pretty well like he acts his profile very very well but he's not the true he's not the man behind the acting scene if that makes sense so all that bullshit oh i was part of the street life you know i, I came from the rough you know all that bullshit Story that some of these guys put out there, all of them that come on YouTube claim that they came from the roughest of the roughest, and it's not the roughest, all right? Because if you look at the roughest areas in the U.S. and compare it to the roughest areas in, like, third world countries, there's nowhere to... It's not even a compare, man. This is how I know this guy is so full of it. He's full of shit. He's all cap. Everything that comes out of him out is all cap. A good 90% of it is all cap. Which of the day, I'm good. Right. I got the, the shit I got, God gave me. You can't take it away unless he do. If he do, then it's meant to be. But other than that, I'm good regardless. A motherfucker with a billion dollars ain't got what I got. Yeah, I can get a billion dollars. You can't get this shit. You can't. They're getting them leg enlargements. You type, they all know if they can run. You're like a walking billboard. I'll, I'll praise the most high. And, and I stand on it. There's no disrespect to nobody because I'm not competing with nobody. As I said in the beginning, I'm one of the ones. It's all about me. It's not you're nothing. Right. No, no, I'm just everything. <laughs> you could be everything too. God bless you. I'm. So you're one of them ones, you're everything, but you got your ass kicked out of Switzerland. Like, what? How does that shit make any damn sense? You got everything. You're one of them ones, but you got your ass kicked out of Switzerland. Why did they kick your broke ass out of Switzerland? And since you're one of them ones, you got everything. You're so special. You're so unique. You're so top of the top, elite, whatever. All that bullshit profile you want to put up for uh, for your brainwashed followers. How come they they let you go? How come they kicked you out? How come? I came to see you, brother. I'm appreciating what God made for me mm -hmm. every day. Because I know it. I want to know what I did in a past life. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> got got a bitch. Fucked <laughs> in, in this fucking body. God damn it. Well, Man. You could change your body. See, this is the problem, all right? Let me tell you guys really what this I didn't run I didn't really want to downplay the podcast or this interview or whatever, but this is reality. Organic got He's he's obviously doing an interview with these two clowns. All right, these two clowns are obviously below him, um, so he can obviously like it's all ego. Like I told you guys, if you haven't seen part one and part two, I told you most of it is pretty much ego talk. 
because he knows that he's sitting with two clowns. I mean, yeah, she's attractive, but she's probably not on his level. Um, she claims like she's so successful, very successful. Okay, if you're very, very successful, why are you like why why would you spend hours upon hours doing like interviews to do upload them on YouTube? Like for what purpose? Like um, now, some people could argue that for me, but I'm actually recording vlogs as most of you guys could probably already tell. Sometimes um, I'm doing the vlogs actually while driving you know, to meetings and things of that nature. So in reality, this vlog is actually paying for my gas to the meeting. So I'm actually still benefiting or I'm taking advantage from every single, every hour of the day and putting it into good use, whether it's for these vlogs or to make important phone calls or things like that. So it's not like i um, wasting time. I'm obviously driving to a meeting so why not take advantage of this time and actually record this vlog and give you guys my opinion on things? You can't change your height. I'm not going to get high. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, motherfuckers, but they doing them leg days right Yeah, yeah, they're doing that shit. But I don't know the motherfuckers jumping something that don't work right. And motherfuckers, <laughs> type, you know, juicing up their meat and all that, it ain't going to work the same. No. He done had, like I tell shit all the time, when they be chilling with me and shit. Because I give them heads up like, hey, baby, I got a 10 inch with girth, baby. Oh, I'm let you know. Man. And they be like, to Fort Worth. You should pass out a card. Yeah, they've been taking a plan. I'm like, tell it's going to be I mean, how could you not? Look at you. But that's a blessing, though. You said, because they ain't understand that it comes with it. They're like, no way. I'm like, God loved me. Oh, yeah. Because he didn't have to do that. He could have left that off the list, and I'd be like, hey, cool, but he ain't fucking pussy, right? No, no. Slash hammer. One, I mean. But can I say something? Just because you have a big dick, I'm not saying that you no, don't no, know how to use it. I'm just saying, just some guys think. Didn't I tell you guys, like, the only thing that he can really brag about? is his dick size and how tall he is like uh, aside from that he really has no intellect like he has no clue he has no really like no good attributes no good characteristics the only thing he talks about the most is his dick size and how tall he is and how he can get all these girls and bullshit it's all bullshit like this guy most of his vlogs are all bullshit even when he did vlogs it was like 30% music, 20% garbage, and then like 50% some content. But lately, it's been mostly garbage. They have a big dick that they're good at. Right. That, that, that don't mean nothing. Don't mean yeah, so, he's already said he, he's, I eat pussy. Come on now. And I know how to use my I don't, slow even, I don't even so, like he, men eating. Like, I wouldn't even let a guy down there. Yeah, yeah, you, you, like, I, I, I ain't no pussy monster. You know, I eat your pussy. I'm not that guy. Right. Uh, Y'all probably ate 10 pussies in my life. I don't even know. Look, this is literally. This is what I mean. Like, this man contradicts himself all the time. Like, he just said earlier that he eats pussy. Now he's like, I'm not a huge pussy eater. It's like, this man lies in caps. Like, he, it's starting to bleed out, even in this interview. I think as somebody actually pointed out um, in one of the comments in the last video, um, I don't know if it was part one or part two of my reaction, they said that uh, as the interview like progressed towards the end, it got worse and worse for organic. You can tell that organic is like, you can tell that perhaps maybe the interviewer started to realize what kind of clown organic is, or maybe because he just he's just putting on a show. Who knows? I mean, maybe he got paid to put on that show. You don't know that, um, and that's what I mean. Like. It would seem like she's very successful, but I don't know anybody that's successful that's going to have like a whole studio set up like this and get a couple thousand views and dedicate this amount of time. Like I, I, I couldn't do it. That's why I don't do it. I don't do podcast style like types of vlogs. It's just a waste of time and it's not profitable for me. Why am I going to waste two hours? That's exactly why the Top of the Mook podcast didn't go anywhere because they probably realized this shit is a waste of time. It's a lot of resources. It's, a, it's probably costing them money. Um, and it's not going to go anywhere. He's not going to be like uh, Joe Rogan. He's not going to be like fresh and fit. It's just not going to happen with that style of podcast they have. So when when I listen to her and she's kind of giving me the vibes that she's like pretty successful, it makes no sense. Why am I going to take two hours out of my day to sit here with a clown and i might have to pay this clown to come on the podcast unless i got like f you money which she might have f you money i don't know but uh it just doesn't seem like it to me um because otherwise she would have f you guest on there you know she would have like top of the mook type guest on there he said he knows how to do it though. but i will but it's like i'm not a fuck pussy good like i might got that strong but i'm not a slow what <laughs> I, I promise you, motherfucking, at least one out of two How bitches. Do you know? 
one out of two women I ever fuck with, they gonna say I'm the best of all time. It's shocking, man. Like, oh my god, I can't believe this happening. Not only you got that, but you fuck me like that. Then I go multiple rounds in a row, like right to it. Who wants multiple rounds with a ten inch dick? But you gotta That's know what painful. you're doing. You gotta know what you're doing with it, though. I'm not gonna get slammed. If you want the sledgehammer, just so we'll your baby and lay slow so and look at the eyes. What they want? We gonna communicate. I'm a communicator, motherfucker, in the pussy. We gonna get some understanding, baby. I'm not. I need to understand. I got a reputation to adhere to. I'm not. I want you to talk to your friends. Like, no, that motherfucker right there. Uh -huh. Put him in the hall of fame. <laughs> the, the hall of fame. You know what I'm saying? Like, I take pride in that. My name ring bells when it comes to that. So it's like, all right, man. Listen, man. God is great. Man. I just give it up to him because he had to do that. He had to let me know how to slow short that motherfucker and talk to it and goddamn look at it, baby, and kiss the neck when you have it in there. Ring, that's, ring. That's you know definitely that? ring, a skill that most people don't have. Because they think he, he just pound you, but he just, he, he just said, don't like that. He just said one of the key words right now. He just said communicate. Yes, I communicated that person. And, and, and this is something that's got, 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 it got brought up. Yo, that dude, man. That fluffy dude, man, that dude is just a, a straight up yes, man. It's like spilled out all over his face. That dude is just like, I feel like he wants to suck organics dick more so than the than the girl, the, uh, than the host. Like, that's that, that's the vibes that I'm getting. I'm sorry. That's just the vibes I'm getting. Like, I'm, I'm feeling like this dude wants to suck organics dick more than the girl wants to. It's just weird. Like, he agrees with them and he's like... It's not like he agrees. Like, he always wants to come from this angle of support. But you don't even know the guy. Do you guys even do any research on the people? I, I got to go check out some of their other videos and make sure, like, do they actually have a clue? Or are they just going based off of, like, views or, like, numbers? They'd be like, oh, this guy, Organic, seems to be mostly talked about. He might be very popular. He has over 300,000 subscribers. And he's the only one that actually replied back to us. Let's bring them on the channel. Is it that kind of like setup, or is it that you actually like research the type of people? I, I mean, I would research people if I was going to do a podcast. Uh, I would research people that I think would be beneficial or provide something valuable to my audience. But that's why I don't do podcasts because it's just it's not going to take me anywhere. Um, it's just not going to be profitable. And there's so many other people already doing it, and they're doing a better job. So why compete with those people? Um, until I can come up with something totally different than them or, you know, put a twist to it or a spin to it. That's probably the only time I'd actually explore it. But so far, I haven't really explored it. The conversation multiple times so far. Communication, communication, yeah. communication. Super important. Like, and, and I've learned that over time by being such a barbarian and being such a, you know, like one of my brands is a gargoyle. Like you said, I like a statue. That's, and, I, and I stand on that because that's part of my brand is being hard to fly at the same time. They got stone, but they got wings. I may be hard, but I got wings. I'm flying out of no chill. But when it's time to let the motherfucking, you know, stone fly, I'm going to fly out that bitch. I'm crushing shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm up all night grinding. I don't sleep. I manifest all day. So we similar to vampires, but I. You're crushing shit, but that's why you quit YouTube for three weeks. Like, Come on, man. Stop it, man. Like a thousand HP media said, stop it. I'm crushing it. I'm t on top of it. I stay on top of it. But you quit YouTube for three weeks. Like, come on, man. You're a quitter. All right. You're not. You're not that guy. Stop. Stop. I know you're acting. You're not that guy, my man. You're not. Stop it. Hey, bite necks and wearing blouses. You know what I'm saying? I ain't bite no nigga neck. So it's like. That gargoyle lifestyle is ferocious. And when you when it's all said and done, it's gonna be historical. It's gonna be a statue made of me when, it, when I'm gone. And I'm always on top. Gargoyles is on top. We see everything. There's definitely ain't gonna be no damn statue of you. Like I don't know where, I don't know what what movie you've been watching lately or what 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 you got your head wrapped around, but there ain't gonna be no damn statue. I don't know what statue you're talking about. Where are you gonna put that statue? Like, what are you talking about, man? You're not that guy. It's like, this dude is really, like, he must be in the Matrix, his own Matrix in his own head or something. We know what's going on. We, we, we very vigilant. We got vision. You know, and then gargoyles is on churches. They fight demons. That's God's, you know, ferocious army is the gargoyles. Devil got the demons. So that's where we at. We just as ferocious, but we on God's side. But we with whatever. You know what I mean? And so we're saying that is, that's why communication is so key. Because I've been so hard my whole life. Now I'm calming down. It's still there. But let me... He talks about God and philosophy and then back to God, but then he does all this adultery. He's like, like he, he, he must have his own version of religion. And that's something I don't really want to get into because it's so debatable. People have their own opinions. Some people have traditional. They're, they grew up traditional and had certain values and morals. But everything organic has done that I've observed, does, it, it goes completely against every 
religion, every morals and ethics, like taking advantage of people, taking their money, promoting bullshit coins, promoting bullshit products and services, um, sleeping with random women. Yeah, it sounds cool. You, you keep talking about demons and all this bullshit. Dude, yeah, you're literally sleeping with different women all the time. Like, that's pretty much in every religion that I can think of. That's pretty much adultery. Like, you're promoting this nonsense to young men watching. You make it seem like it's cool. It might be cool to you, but it's not cool. It's not cool. Um, you're just basically effing a lot of young men's heads. Like, this dude is misleading a lot of people, and then he tries to come back and tries to act normal by talking about God and this. And it's like this dude is really effing the head. Understand. Let me know what's going on so I can be the best I can be and move the right way. Did it take you time to become like this? Most definitely, because it was just, most of my life was just a hard grind and just fuck everybody about it. Oh, man, no emotions. Oh, open the door, fuck you, move out of the way. Well, you open the door for you and say thank you. Yeah, I bless you by you. I'll let you open the door for me. Mm -hmm. That's how it's to move. Right. But now, thank you, I appreciate it. When did that change? Day. Um, probably when I found success. I feel like most people went the opposite way with success. You know what I'm saying? Like, they got assholes first. I was at. Bro, I don't understand. What is he talking about? Success. Can somebody, like, can one of these, like, slow brain idiots that watches him please let me know what the hell does he mean by success? Like, this man has no cars. All these cars are leased. I mean, you guys can see the receipts. This Lamborghini is leased. Go check out the Carfax. Run the VIN number yourself. Okay, right now, this man has no cars. He doesn't have a mansion. He has no jewelry. Like, what is, what, what do you mean by success, man? I mean, I'm not. I'm not sure I'm conv I understand what you're talking about. Like, because when I'm thinking success, I'm thinking like somebody like Manny Koshbin, TJ Millionaire Mentor, like those guys, Jeff Bezos, Bill Gates. But I don't want to say those big mega names. I'm going to just make it more comparable. TJ Millionaire Mentor. That's success. That's actually somebody that actually worked with Organic. I think he probably figured out Organic was a clown and stopped hanging out with them. Because when is the last time have you seen TJ Millionaire Mentor hanging out with Organic? So was, as a bum, because I knew what I, I didn't, I knew what I was with no money. So once I got my, like, oh God, then bless me money. I got to be nice to people. Hold the fuck up. Mm -hmm. Let me relax. I calmed down with the bag. Mm -hmm. I was way worse without money. You were an animal. So what? With no remorse or cares, mercy, nothing. Mm -hmm. But now it's like, I, get, I got more empathy for people. Mm -hmm. No, God bless you. Oh, I apologize, man. Go ahead. You know. Mm -hmm. But when, so now, if it's something for me to, to activate on that hard shit come out, it's gonna be purposeful. I'm always gonna be good because it's not for no reason. If I got to activate that gargoyle for real, I'm going to win because I'm stoic. You brought that out of me. Right. You know what I'm saying? Now, God bless you on your path. Why would you do that? You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm going to take you. So it's like, I don't need to communicate. I want people to be happy. I want people to be cool. I don't want no conflict. He keeps saying he's going to activate the gargoyle. Like, what the what the hell are you talking about, man? What, what are you talking about activate the gargoyle? Like, is this dude like 12 or something? Like, dude, you're like 40-something years old. Like, stop talking like you're a 12-year-old. There is no activating a gargoyle. Like, is this guy stupid or something? Like, you guys, let me know. I want somebody that actually following this clown. Let me know what the hell does it mean to activate the gargoyle? What activating? What gargoyle are you activating? You haven't even been vlogging for like three weeks. You haven't been activating nothing. You look like a clown. You sound like a clown, and you are stupid. Like the. I'm trying to maintain my cool, but this dude is a clown for real. Like this dude has no clue what he's talking about. And he's out here misleading people, taking advantage. The only reason this man made it, in my opinion, is because of all that bullshit he was promoting. That's how he made money. But when that bullshit is no longer around, he has no real business. This is what I mean. He's a social media influencer. He's not a real businessman. If he was a real businessman, he would have a real business making money, regardless of YouTube or Twitter or any social media platform. But because he doesn't have a real business, that's why he's falling off. This is why he probably ain't vlogging because he has nothing to vlog with because he knows he's stupid. I'm talking about he's activating the gargoyle. What the hell is that? What the fuck does that shit mean? What do you mean activating the gargoyle? What, what, do you, what gargoyle? Like, dude, you're not... You're not 12 or 15. You're like a 40-some-year-old man. Like, talk like you're a real man. Like, this dude acts stupid as hell. Like, I can't believe people actually look at this clown thinking that this guy actually knows what he's talking about. He has no fucking clue what he's talking about. So, yeah, I mean, I don't know. What, what are you guys, like, watching? 
because I know where I'm going to go with it. So let's rectify it now. You know, like some people in the streets, they be like, we could catch a fade, me and you can fight, go in the corner. No, no, I ain't, I'm going to try to kill you. Do people so. say that to you? No, no, not never in life. Right. I ain't no one has ever did that to me. No. But I'm saying like people do that, like with friends or like, you know what I'm saying? Hey, man, we got a problem. Let's go fight. No, no, we ain't fighting. I'm going to be dying. So let's talk. First. Yeah, no one's going to fight no, you. Don't fucking play with me, man. So know. like, let's talk. You right. know what I'm saying? Like, let's get that out the way. Organic, we both know you're a coward. Cut it out, man. Talking about, oh, uh, there, oh I'm, there's no fighting. I'm going to just kill you. That's why you kept moving like every like three, four months. It's like, I don't get it. I don't, I don't understand it. This is the guy that said the exposure got exposed. That He went live one time. And he said the exposed. Well, last time I checked, I'm in the same exact place I was in for the last, I don't know, like five years. Maybe like, yeah, actually like five years. I'm not the one that's moving around. Like this dude is a clown, man. But I'm going to wrap up this video. Let me know what you guys think about this clown. So I'm, uh, I don't understand what the hell does it mean to activate the gargoyle? What what activate gargoyle? What what is this guy talking about? Is it like is it like a toy or something like that? Let me know what you guys thought about that.